And so the next exercise is uh, to bring the same ship, a 1,500 TU ship, out. The ship is burst, a starboard side alongside, three by two. And we have to get the ship out into the channel to the pilot station. Um, here, it's also no tux, no current, no wind. But it's not like a problem like we had before, so that I have to bring my ship astern out. Here, I um, can go directly out. That means... As soon as the pilot is on board, we are start signaling up a three by two. That means all lines in. If all lines are in, I put my engine on that slower head or slower head. Here I mark my points where I have to turn. And this is a, a rate of turn. That's the wheel over line and here as well to come into the channel. So let's see how it works. So now my engine is on that slow. So, which means slowly, slowly, I'm now moving my ship. And as we said, until we are at the, this point with the pivot point roundabout here, I start now to turn. That means that would be actually my way if I will not counteract by the boat thruster. So, which means by using the boat thruster full and also my rudder full, um, you can see that my ship will come into the channel. And I have here only 20 degrees, but the boat thruster full. So which means if I would now reduce my boat thruster a bit, what I can do, you see here, boat thruster only on 40%, my ship will follow exactly the below over point, which is here marked in the chart. So meaning now I am start to turn. I'm exactly turned where my pivot point is. It's about a little bit forward of midship. And I'm following this nice wheel over. So the next step is to kind of to come here into the turning base. So which means my boat thruster got midship and also my rudder. I will now place here. So now I'm start moving, still on that slower head. So if I will be here, I already can start to put my rudder so that I will come to this point. So here I'm now following this one. So as soon as I'm coming here, my ship will turn. I put the inertia in and the inertia is considered of the ship. So which means you see my ship is now moving, moving, moving ahead. And now here we are start moving. The, I'm turning now my ship and the ship is following here the wheel over. And will exactly come to the new course. Only by using my rudder. Now I am in, so which means if I would now resume with my speed and my rather, I would run here into the shallow water. Therefore, I will place my rather midships again and adjust to be in the channel. Boat thruster is zero because the boat thruster here, we have 4.77 knots and the boat thruster is useless. and. Um, I'm only using now my rudder and what I also can do even when I'm in the channel, I can increase my speed. As soon as I increase my speed, we can see that my effect on the rudder is by far better because I have more pressure on the blade and I can only adjust with little rudder now. And you see now I'm running nicely into the channel. Okay. That is all how to bring a ship out. And uh, by the, uh, if we are analyzing this now, we have to say, okay, what actually could be done better is here, the wheel over line should be placed actually here. Huh? So that is the wheel over line. That was the only one what can be uh, complained, what was not done correctly because the inertia of the ship, if I put my rudder here on, let's say, mm, starboard 20 or then the ship will run and the ship will move until he, he 
reach this line. That is the inertia done, and now the ship starts to turn. What we can see, this is actually the turn of the ship. And mm, we maybe we turned a little bit too early, but we are following this, and we are coming then to the channel. So it might be that I also could have turned here, so to come into the channel, but then I need more rudder. Okay, now in the final stage here, if I will be in, we can see that my bow speed and the stern speed are nearly the same. So which means my, um, due to the fact that I have a little bit more stern speed, my pivot point is located here, which means a little bit forward of the center of gravity. And with a constant speed now, that will not move further to the aft. It would now move to the forward if I increase my speed. Good. This is how it how it works. And now what we also can do, we can mark this here and uh, give the um, correct uh, information in the in the EMC and here as well what to be done. Thank you for watching. See you for the next video.